Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Skudubuyu playing vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC edition uh, and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about um, <laughs> some experimenting that I've been doing with uh, designing a castle uh, for over the ocean. Uh, so this is um, uh, this is just some initial prototyping that, I, that I've been doing. It's huge. Uh, I would never really build this entire thing in a survival world just because it's so big, but I might build uh, kind of a scaled down version of it. Um, I've uh, got some nice um, uh, shallow archways here. I've kept it kind of dark uh, underneath on purpose uh, just, uh, just for the effect. I really wanted this to have um, uh, kind of a feeling of solidity to it. Um, it's not very adorned at this point. I've got some embedded unpolished andesite in, in the wall there just for decoration. Um, diorite looks, uh, unpolished diorite also looks pretty good. Um, my opinion is that unpolished diorite looks better at night because it retains a bit more of the contrast, uh, whereas andesite looks better during the day, but um, uh, choices, choices. Um, but this is this is really just <laughs> kind of the outer wall. Uh, I wanted to show what this looks at, like at night, though, just because it's kind of interesting. And um, uh, I'll uh, talk a little bit more uh, about. Uh, so up here, um, this is this is my absolute favorite pattern of um, of crenellations. Uh, uh, so I'll show you how to um, uh, build these merlins a little in a little bit. Uh, but first, I wanted to show uh, what this looks like at night. Uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, change my uh, change the time there, uh, and I, I think this looks really nice at night, especially underneath. Um, it's uh, it's got a really kind of um, uh <laughs> a medieval feel to it. I really really like it. Um, you may be wondering what this uh, what this coloring up here uh, at the top of the wall is. Um, that's not actually coloring. That's um, that's kind of a light bleed through, and that that's really the impetus for this video is I, I want to talk a little bit about uh, light with respect to uh, partial blocks, in particular stairs and slabs. Uh, so this block here that I'm pointing at is actually an upside down uh, upside down stairs, uh, and inside this block it has a light level uh, that is greater than zero apparently um, uh, outside this block so it's nighttime uh, everything has a light level of four uh, so on the outside of this block is a light level of four the air block on the side of this uh, stairs have, has a light level of four but the stairs itself has a much higher light level as is evidenced by that lighter piece, um, and, and that's just because we can, because it's a partial block, we're actually looking into the kind of the inside of that block, and we can see what its light level is. Uh, so the question is, where is that light? Uh, where is that light coming from? Uh, well, it's coming from the same place that all this light is coming from, and and I really love this pathway. Um, uh, it's uh, it's not actually lit. It looks like it's lit. Uh, but in fact, the light level is zero. It's just that the I'm actually walking on bottom half slabs, and these bottom half slabs uh, have a light level that is uh, greater than uh, the ambient light level, which is why they look lit. Uh, and they're they're all lit uh, by these torches down here. So I've just got uh, basically a, a floor of torches underneath this pathway. Uh, that makes sure that the light level of this block is uh, is uh, stays relatively high. Now, for stairs and slabs, uh, and for normal blocks, uh, normal blocks, the light level is computed as one less than the greatest light level that's uh, of a block that's uh, immediately adjacent to it. Uh, for stairs and slabs, they actually have a, a little bit of a different behavior. Uh, their light level is equal to the greatest light level of an adjacent block. Um, it's just that you don't normally see that unless you're actually looking to the inside of the block, uh, looking uh, at the um, uh, at the stairs, like here at the at the this you know little cutout of the stairs. Or if you're looking down onto a bottom half slab or up at a uh, top half slab uh, that has a light level that's significantly greater than the ambient. So otherwise you don't really notice it. And so I've made use of that by purposefully 
uh, lighting all of the slabs of this path uh, to uh, to give it this nice lighted effect, even though um, the light level here is actually uh, well um, inside the block, it's uh, it's going to be. 14 because it's right next to a torch um, but really uh, because they don't allow light to propagate um, uh, the uh, the light level immediately above that is not uh, 14 minus 1 it's basically just the ambient light level of 4 uh, so I'm sitting around in uh, in total darkness it's just that it looks like it's lit um, and uh, and and uh, that's what uh, that's what's really interesting about this uh, so um, I'm not actually worried about mobs spawning up here because these are bottom half slabs, uh, but it also has to do with my uh, uh, with my Merlins here. Uh, and uh, let me switch back to uh, to daytime, and uh, I'll show you how to uh, how to build these. Okay, so I'm going to start with a path of bottom half slabs. Let's go seven long. And of course, these are bottom half slabs, so there's no spawning on top of here. Uh, and if I place a um, a line of full blocks on the side, okay, so they're sticking up by a half a block above the bottom half slabs. And now I'm going to drop a full block on every third block. Uh, and on top of that full block, I'm going to place a uh, a top half uh, sorry a bottom half slab okay. and then I'm going to use stairs uh, to fill in the rest there we go and this is my favorite pattern of crenellations for a, a kind of castle wall uh, not only because I, I think it looks uh, really interesting, uh, but <laughs> because the the top surface of this, including the path, uh, is all um, partial blocks, uh, uh, in this case bottom half slabs and uh, right side up stairs, there's no mob spawning on this anywhere. So this entire path, even though it looks really lit, it's actually dark, but even though it's really dark, there's absolutely no, no mob spawning either uh, on the path itself or the wall. Uh, so I, I really like that you don't have to have torches to, uh, around to kind of spoil the effect. Um, uh, but uh, uh, but that's, uh, uh, that's the reason why I, I really like this. So I, I use it quite a bit. Uh, one last thing that I wanted to mention here, and maybe if we uh, dig out some of these um, uh, some of these blocks, we'll be able to see. So I placed uh, um, full blocks, just basic stone bricks, uh, right on top of the grass there, uh, which means that because inside here these guys have a uh, a light level of zero, I um, mean they're not the same as slabs. Uh, these guys have a light level of zero. That means it's um, the grass underneath it is probably changing to dirt. So I'm going to knock out the rest of these. And let's go ahead and see how many of these blocks, how many of the grass blocks underneath have changed to dirt. Yeah, a few of them. Not, not all of them, at least not yet. Uh, they all would have changed to dirt eventually. Um, so uh, that's because those uh, full uh, blocks of, uh, of stone bricks have an interior light level of zero, and grass needs a light level that's greater than that in order to survive. Uh, now, now let's take a look at the uh, the slabs here. Okay. All grass underneath, and the reason why uh, is because um, the slabs have that interior light level that's equal to the light, uh, the greatest light level of an adjacent block, uh, which means that the conditions for grass to survive aren't violated like they are with uh, full blocks. Um, so if I have a, um, uh, if I have a, um, uh, like a ring of grass blocks here, I'm going to uh, cover these with slabs and uh, place a dirt block in the middle. 
uh, eventually that dirt block in the middle would actually change to grass, even though all these grass blocks are covered. Uh, not only will the grass blocks not uh, revert to dirt, uh, but they still act as source blocks for grass spreading. So this center block would eventually change to grass. Uh, now, if I placed um, uh, full blocks of stone bricks on top, that would not be the case. N um, not only would these grass blocks revert to dirt, but they would not be able to be, uh, uh, before they reverted, they wouldn't act as source blocks for grass spreading to this dirt block in the middle. Uh, now, what's really interesting, uh, <laughs> at least to me, because uh, I'm interested in these weird mechanics, uh, is that... Um, here is a full block of stone bricks. Oh, there the block just changed to grass. Uh, and right here is a double uh, stone brick slab, uh, is a double stone brick slab. So I just placed two slabs there and they look identical. Uh, but even the double uh, version of slabs has that strange light uh, preserving property. Uh, and so even though they look identical, the slabs will, uh, uh, the uh, double slabs uh, would not actually um, uh, prevent grass from, uh, uh, from spreading to dirt and it wouldn't kill the grass. So I could place double slabs all over this and it would still have the same effect. This dirt block would eventually change to grass and none of this grass is going to die. Uh, so if you're ever in a situation where you need to preserve the grass, uh, but you have to have solid blocks on top um, for whatever reason, maybe uh, you have a, a redstone mechanism or something, uh, using double slabs is, uh, is actually a relatively good choice because, um, uh, because it does have that strange light preserving property. And there are a few situations uh, where that's useful as well. Um, for example, uh, for crops to be able to grow, they have to have a light level of uh, 9 in the block immediately above them. Uh, and uh, that's possible with a, uh, with a double slabs, for example, uh, whereas it would not be if I'm just using regular stone bricks. Uh, so <laughs> that's, um, uh, that's the interesting uh, uh, light lesson uh, for today. And I think that's, uh, that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please leave a note in the comments. And thanks for watching.